Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to Vlogmas day number 14. So today is a super exciting one. Um, I'm literally sat kind of procrastinating but basically tonight I am packing for our family trip to Disneyland Paris. So coming on our trip is myself, my boyfriend Sam, and our two children, Arlo who is four and Hallie who is one. Sam's actually at a gig tonight, he's like a drummer in a band so he's at a gig tonight. The kids are both in bed um, which is why it's quite, oh well, it is dark outside so if the lighting isn't great I'll apologise for that. Um, but basically what I've been doing today is just kind of getting everything together. Uh, we literally leave in the morning, so it's about eight o'clock now in the evening. So I'm just literally going over everything, making sure I've got everything, making sure the kids stuff are packed. Um, and I thought whilst I'm doing mainly the clothing, I will show you what I'm packing. Obviously our trip is a winter trip. We're going for a Christmas season. Uh, so we're packed for the cold, which it just feels like there's way more stuff than what there actually is because there's a lot of big jumpers and coats and cardigans and everything. So we've got a few suitcases. I'm just looking at now, we've got a few bags. Um, but I will show you what we're taking and then hopefully if, I don't know, maybe there's any families watching or parents watching who are thinking about going to Disneyland in the winter or maybe you are going and you're looking for some packing tips um, I hope that this vlog helps so yeah I'll show you what I'm packing now I'll show you what I've packed so far I'm kind of three quarters of the way through the things that I've not done are to be honest the boring stuff like toiletries makeup um nappies baby wipes that sort of thing um <laughs> I need to do all the extras but clothing and um fancy dress costumes i've done so i'll show you now what i've packed already so like lots of disney fans i absolutely love the lounge fly bags and i've got a few christmas ones but i've narrowed it down to two slash three um so this is the first one that i'm taking and it's my red sequin one literally that is Christmas in a bag. So um, I think this is what I'm wearing for the travel down. It is our Lunar and Love tracksuit. So if it's the first time you've seen this, it's a bit of a sneak peek for our clothing company. So I think I'm gonna wear this down because it's super soft, super comfy. And then I've got my um, backpack ready and my Christmas ears that match the red sequins. I was only gonna bring one bag um, just because I don't think I need two, but I have recently bought this um, Christmas snacks backpack. Literally, how cute is that? So obviously it's Christmas, it's food themed. So that one is coming with us as well. So I've got two lounge fly bags. And then we actually bought our little one for himself and it's Jack Skellington dressed as Sandy Claus. So he's actually not seen this yet and he's not seen his suitcase. I'm super excited to give them him um kind of bought them as part of his birthday present but we were saving them for this holiday so he's got that to look forward to in the morning i'll go through hallie's clubs first because she's got a diddy little cute suitcase um this suitcase was from primark i can't remember exactly how much it was because we got it a long not a long time ago but we got it a while ago um so I'll just really quickly show you what I have packed for her, which is, this is a bit of backwards way of doing it because I'm going to need to repack. But to be honest, it gives me a chance to go over everything because I packed when the kids were awake. <laughs> so my head was all over. Um, so yeah, this is a good way for me to actually check that I've remembered everything. So she's got little swimming cosy because there's a pool in our hotel. That was from H&M and it's just a little... Minnie Mouse one, she's got some mittens. I'll just show you really, really quickly because there is four of us, it's a lot of clothing. Um, so yeah, I'll get through this as quick as I can. Hoodie there from Zara, just a cream oversized hoodie. Uh, thermals, I'm not gonna open them up but she's got thermals for Primark. We've all got our own set of thermals because it's meant to be very cold. 
Then her and Arlo have got these matching tops. Christmas Disney t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, so they've both got them. She's got her Marvel pyjamas, which I'm not going to open up because they were in the Disney haul that is coming. I don't think it'll be up yet. <laughs> it's either coming or it's already been, um, I've already put it up. So yeah, they're in there and they're from Primark. This is a jumper from Zara. So kind of a bit creased now it's been in the suitcase, but I'm um, just got a little bit lacy on it, kind of Christmassy vibes. So she will wear that with her red, oops, red sequin tutu. Can you see the glitter on that? Yeah, the red glittery tutu. So she'll wear them together with some tights. Basically what I'm thinking with this trip is just layers, layer everything up and then probably a big coat on top as well so yeah layers are the key took another little skirt for her so i'll literally just get her dressed in whatever nice and warm and then put these over the top just to make it a bit more dressy outfit for her <clears throat> then she's got these pajamas just rudolph christmas pajamas again another matchy thing but we've all got these disney Primark pyjamas. I'm sure everyone has seen these by now. So hers is actually a onesie, um, like a, a sleep suit. So um, she's got one of those. Well, we've all got matching of those. And hers actually comes with a little Santa hat, which how cute is that? It's got Mickey ears on it as well. So I'll just put them in there for her. This next set I got from Primark and it's really cute and really, really warm, like really soft, fluffy. Um, how cute is that? So Bambi set, that's the jumper and those are the pants. She's got this sweatshirt from Zara. This was a few months ago, I started just getting bits. Well to be honest I've been getting the Disney bits for ages because this is a trip we've been trying to go on for the last two years so they've actually had and outgrown a lot of the Disney clothes already which is a shame but they wear them anyway so um yeah she's I got this a while ago in Zara I don't know if it's still in or not then I'm not going to get them all out but I've packed her seven vests um because we're going basically for seven days so she's got vests there as well I'm not going to get them all out <laughs> Then some nice red Christmassy colour kind of ribbed leggings and those are from H&M. They were in a set so she's got them in cream and red but I think I've just packed the red ones. She's got again, you'll see when I show you Arlo's but her and Arlo have got like matching, um, this is a dress, like a jumper dress. So she's got a jumper dress and then Arlo has the jumper which I will show you when I get it out so that was from Primark and I think these tights came with it pretty sure they did because I've put them next to each other so she's got a pair of tights there as well and she's got two pairs of tights here um gray and white so I've just popped them in oh yeah I did pack the other leggings so these are the other leggings that came in the set with the red ones so just cream ribbed leggings to be honest with Hallie I think most of the time she's gonna have whatever on top and trousers and then probably one of the little princess dresses over the top anyway um so I'll show you them because I've packed them separately this is another really cute dress or pinafore so this is the the uh, Mickey ears on it this is the dress so it's like that Christmas tartan colour and it's got um it say Minnie Mouse yeah Minnie Mouse on there as well I can't remember where this was from maybe Tesco was it Tesco it just says Disney baby but I think it was Tesco so she's got that so she just has a little um vest on underneath that so I need to pack that as well then she's got this which again I'm just thinking layers like layering them up um she's got this like onesie sleep suit kind of thing with the mini ears as well I think this was Primark yeah it's from Primark 
Um, so that'll be good for when we're watching parades and things in the evening. And I've also got a snowsuit which I will show you as well. This is the outfit that they're actually traveling down in. And again, they're both matching. I feel like I'm gonna match them for as long as they'll let me. So um, it's just like a Mickey Fantasia jumper. That's the front and this is the back. It's literally beautiful. And this is from Zara as well. So that is the top. And then they've got little um, matching jogging bottoms. So she's got that to travel down with and so has Arlo. So they'll both be super comfy. This is her snowsuit, which she's been getting a lot of wear out of at home anyway. Um, so that's really, really thick, perfect for the cold weather. And this was from Asda and it's little. Minnie Mouse one as well, super padded, super warm for her. She's also got this gilet, which was from Primark, and it's not a Disney one, but it does have two little bear ears on it, so kind of a little bit Mickey, <laughs> Mickey um, themed, and this is just super, super soft, so again, just thinking of layers, she'll be nice and warm with that on. She does have a couple more outfits that are in the dryer. Again, just kind of like warm tracksuit kind of outfit. Um, so they're just literally, I think he's got like 10 minutes left on it and then I'll be packing those. Nothing interesting, so I'm not gonna show you, but yeah, basically just kind of like this, just like, a, like warm tracksuits. She's also got these shoes. Literally, how cute are they? Little boots. To be honest, they're quite big on her. Um, these are, they're only a four and she's a three and a half, but I guess that half a size still makes a big difference. Um, so they were from Zara, so they're super cute. And she's got her Vans, which these are just my favorite shoes of hers. Pink sparkly Vans. Um, so they'll be coming with us, probably put them on for the journey down. I am gonna show you these. I don't know where the other one is. I need to find it. She was literally wearing them today. So they're around somewhere, but um, are these not just the most Minnie Mouse red Christmas shoe ever? <laughs> um, so yeah, they'll be coming with us as well, as long as I can find the other one. So that's pretty much it for Hallie's clothing. Um, she has got a bag, which I'm not gonna unpack because it's literally just headbands and hats. So she's got a woolly hat. She's got some more mittens and she's got two just mini ears from Primark. Um, that's Hallie pretty much done apart from the fancy dress, which I'm going to show you at the end. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that we do a lot of dressing up, um, especially Disney themed. So there is a suitcase full of fancy dress bits, which I will show you at the end. Um, but I'll show you Arlo's case next. And we've actually had this for a few years because he took this on the trip in 2019. So I'm pretty sure at the, uh, not Asda, Primark. If it's your Primark, don't do it anymore. Um, but that is where we got it from originally. I think half my head might be chopped off on this vlog, but it's fine. You're not here to see my face anyway. You're here to see. <laughs> You're here to see the uh, the packing. So I'll apologise if it's like my nose down. Um, so this is Arlo's case. So again, I'll just really quickly go through it. In this side of his suitcase, he's got a big winter coat, which I'm not going to unpack because it'll take me ages to fold up again. Um, but I'll put his pajamas on this side. So again, he's got the same. Disney pajamas that we've all got. He's got some Marvel ones, um, just like t-shirt and shorts in case the hotel room is a bit warm. I'm sure it'll be lovely and warm. Um, and then he's got some Lightning McQueen pajamas as well. He's also got some Mickey themed shoes. So these were from Zara a while back. Again, we bought them for one of the trips that Never went ahead, but luckily he'll still fit in these. So just like some brown um, trainers and they're a bit kind of, not fur lined, but they're quite thick. So they should keep his feet nice and warm. Socks, I'm not gonna show you socks. That's quite boring. <laughs> um, he's got his swimming shorts. So just Marvel superhero swimming shorts, obviously to be on theme with the hotel. So we're staying at the Marvel hotel. Um, this is the top that I got for him matching Hallie's, so I won't get that out to show you because you've already seen it. He's got his red Mickey 
Christmas check shirt. So Arlo actually chose this one out himself um, for holiday. He said he wanted it for Disneyland. So that was from Tesco. Nice and Christmassy. He's got a Marvel tracksuit. This was from Primark as well. So that's the top. And those are the bottoms. Um, to be honest, this might be mainly, maybe he'll travel back in this or I don't know, maybe in the evening. It's super fleecy, super, super warm um, and nice and comfy. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe traveling or in an evening, that one's a bit warmer for him. Got a pair of jeans another pair of jeans i feel like i've overpacked for arlo but better to overpack than underpack we're driving so we're not worrying about case limits or anything and um, this is arlo's jumper that matches hallie's christmas dress so we'll be getting some cute pictures of them together wearing their um christmas jumpers that was from primark or asda um i can't remember and it doesn't say on the tag, so either Primark or, Primark or Asda. Then this is his Spider-Man jumper, which I absolutely love. This one's from Zara again. Zara do really good quality Disney superhero Marvel clothing. Um, so I think I'm going to put this on him when he goes to meet Spider-Man, which is booked for our second day. So... He'll probably either wear that or if he's in the mood he might wear his spider-man outfit it just depends what what he's feeling that day sometimes he doesn't want to dress up um plain black t-shirt plain gray t-shirt to be honest just for layering um obviously hallie's got a vest but our lord doesn't wear vests so he that's why he's got a bit more clothing because i'll be layering him up a bit more um he's got this long sleeve marvel t-shirt again just for layers that's the front love the back and this one was again it was from zara like just love their kids disney stuff so that'll keep him nice and warm i think the key for arlo is layers because he's gonna be this is my thinking he is gonna be up running around wanting to run around the park probably hot i know it sounds silly but probably hot wearing himself out so want to be able to strip the layers off him whereas hallie can't walk yet she's going to be in the pram so it's just a case of whatever she's wearing big snowsuit and she's got coats as well and hats whereas arlo's probably more like us where he's going to need to layer up and down if that makes sense um then he's got his marvel Christmas jumper um so he wore that on the Christmas jumper day that's just gone this actually looks like I've packed way too much stuff but we are staying for seven days so and as also two travel days so maybe I've overpacked for Arlo I'm not sure I'll soon find out on the trip um he's got his thermals as well he has got his Christmas spirit jersey christmas snacks spirit jersey sorry and me and sam also have these so we're gonna have christmas snack matching jumpers um i couldn't get one in hallie's size which is so upsetting like i don't know if they just don't make them that small or or what but i had to get all of ours off ebay um because they were really really hard to find so yeah he arlo's got one then i've got his hat here uh, from H&M so just a woolly hat there pair of joggers just a plain pair of joggers underwear won't show you that and then the next three bits is just kind of tracksuits um that again I've just picked up over the last few months <laughs> while we've been waiting to see if this trip goes ahead so Arlo picked this one himself so it's just a big white Mickey jumper and that comes with some grey leggings. This set's really nice and it's from Asda. Um, and it's kind of like a stone, like a stone colour and a really dark grey. Um, so it's just a little bit different. So that's the top and those are the bottoms. So again, just super comfy. And the final one is from Zara and Again, Arlo picked this out for himself. 
in summer, which originally was when we was meant to be going, when we keep pushing it back, pushing it back, but um, he chose this, so Mickey Spaceman, I think that's why Al liked it, because it had all like uh, Mickey dressed up as an astronaut on it, so that's the top, and those are the bottoms, so other than, other than Arlo's underpants, socks, coat, and gloves that's everything we're taking for Arlo like I say I'm not going to show toiletries for Arlo he'll literally have toothbrush toothpaste that's pretty much it um so yeah that's that's Arlo basically done apart from the fancy dress uh, which I promise I will get on to I actually also got these bits for Arlo as well which um I've just just found um amongst the things I need to pack this is something that you put on in the car and it goes on if you imagine our low seat is in the back it goes on the behind of the seat in front and um, so it'll be like in front of our low and it folds down like a table um, like an activity table and it's marble themed so that'll fold down he'll be able to use that as a table and then I've just got him some um, like colouring and that's like a wipe clean drawing book crayons got him some cheap headphones for his ipad so yeah just things basically to keep him occupied in the car so he doesn't know we've got any of that yet so i'm hoping the novelty of it will keep him entertained for a few hours at least so when sam's home we need to go and sort all that out in the car i've also just spotted these I keep finding little bits now now that i'm moving all the suitcases around but hallie has got her passport holder which was a present i think it was for her either her first birthday or maybe when she was born actually of her auntie and uncle so um that's her passport holder so i need to put her passport in there and i also got this off amazon 50 things to do on a car journey and um, so that'll be a good game to play with Arlo. Another extra is Hallie's um, dummy clip so again definitely a big tip for a long car journey is having a dummy clip because if your babies are anything like Hallie as soon as that dummy is launched from her mouth she's upset she, she wants it back in um, so got a dummy clip just to help her with that so she's not losing a dummy so I'll show you mine and Sam's stuff next I don't know if any of you guys are the same but when I'm packing I'll pack and then I'll go around the house and I'll find more things um, so I'll show you everything that I have packed but there probably is going to be bits where I'm like forgot to pack that, forgot to pack this so I'm doing the best I can but there may be things that you're screaming at the vlog like you've not packed this it might be because I've just not remembered it yet so um so yeah it's mainly clothing so I'll show you Sam's I've just put some stuff that I know Sam wants to take slash I want Sam to take um in his side and then he's gonna do the rest when he gets home from his gig so I bought us both some fluffy socks literally just Christmas fluffy socks he's a Santa squad so when we've been freezing our feet off watching the parade um we can come back and get nice and warm so i've got some fluffy socks sam's got matching pjs as well family matching pjs captain america spirit jersey this has just reminded me mine's drying on the door so i need to get mine and um, so when we check into our hotel we are all going to be wearing um marvel slash captain america merchandise um just i don't know we're staying in the marvel hotel so i thought it'd be cute to just all dress up something marvel then he's got his um avengers jumper which you might remember from the vlog from the first time we went so got that a couple of years ago from the disney store what i found with guys stuff and i don't know if like any of you have found this as well there's so little like if you've, if you've got a, a guy or a man in your family who loves Disney and wants to be a part of the magic and wants to dress up and wear merchandise like other than spirit jerseys which are very expensive like the Captain America one there's actually not that much stuff like when you go in Primark I could get three or four jumpers for me or I have got three or four jumpers for me and then manage to find like one for Sam which I'm not sure he's probably that, that bothered but yeah it's just a shame there's not as much stuff for men anyway 
Sam also has a Christmas snack spirit jersey, which that's the one that Arlo's got and I've got matching as well. A pair of socks. Um, oh yeah, this is a... This is what I mean for guys. Like, it's just very, very basic. So, just got him a Disney t-shirt from H&M. That was a while ago now. Um, anytime nice male disney clothing pops up i just try and grab it because it's like so rare that there is actually anything then i got him this <coughs> red mickey kind of festive um jumper so that's nice and fleecy as well on the inside so that'd be nice and warm and if he wants to wear something that's disney then he's got that these are sam's thermals just picked them up from primark got all the thermals from primark and this is the last thing that I've packed for Sam and it's just um, a long sleeve white t-shirt with that on the back so yeah Sam's obviously got some packing to do himself when he gets home but I've just popped things in the suitcase that um, I thought he might want to take and then he can do the rest when he gets back because that'll be quite late so I'll show you what I've packed for myself um, got this mickey cardigan which in my eyes like i just want to be at sequoia lodge with a hot chocolate feeling really festive maybe near a fireplace um with this cardigan on it just feeling really cozy so yeah got that cardigan and that was from primark most of my disney stuff is from primark I'm not going to unravel the boring stuff. These are a pair of ribbed leggings from H&M and they've got like a foot strap on them um, so they don't ride up your ankles. They, like they stay strapped to the bottom of your feet which game changer especially in cold weather so I'm packing them. I've got a couple of pairs of pyjamas just because I love new pyjamas, love any excuse for new pyjamas so um, and Primark's the best especially for Disney ones so I've got these again i'm not going to unravel them but it's just basically shorts uh, sorry long sleeve pants and t-shirt in this kind of festive mini print so i've got them obviously i've got my family disney matching ones as well so i can't wait for that photograph get a picture of us all together in the matching ones i've got like a red christmasy night shirt that is from primark super comfy pair of jeans however these are kind of like 90s flare kind of vibe which i don't know how practical they're going to be because the floor is going to be wet but i just wanted to take a different option than just leggings um but i'm only five foot four i'm quite short so any jean is long on me so if it happens to be a dry day i'll wear these but if not probably be leggings again um, but I just thought I'd pack them so I've got an option leggings like I said trusty leggings at least and they'll be comfy in them white leggings cream leggings they're like ribbed um I actually really like them they're from misguided I've got my swimming cosy in case we want to go in the pool as well these are my um my fluffy socks so mine have got a little glittery mickey on them so they were from primark if they still got them in the shop that's a really good like stocking filler christmas present so i've got a pair of those i've got my green mickey jumper which i think is quite festive um like it's quite a festive color green camera's not really picking it up but yeah like this and my red woolly hat that i've got um will feel quite christmasy so that and a pair of leggings probably as much as i want to wear my jeans are just oh, it's probably not going to be practical so yeah probably that and a pair of leggings then these these are i, they, I won't be wearing these out and outside in the park but i just got them because i literally love them so maybe more of a in the hotel chilling kind of pan but please please look at these these are leggings and they've also got christmas snacks on like they match my um where is it they actually match my lounge fly bag like 
Literally obsessed, obsessed. So they'll be definitely for like around the hotel, but I can't not bring them. Then the next couple of things is kind of a set. So I've got this very, very, very cropped um, knitted, I don't even think you could call it a jumper, but basically it's like that cable knit, really soft kind of material. This is from H&M and I've just got a top to go underneath it or like a bodysuit to go underneath it so if I'm wanting something a bit dressier that's not just a sweatshirt um those two together with hopefully my jeans is what I'm thinking so yeah just a, an outfit for me if we're going for a meal maybe shave with me something like that get a bit more dressed up obviously i've got my christmas snack spirit jersey too so mine is in there it's been packed another primark christmas special um i've seen loads of people with this on instagram so i picked one up as well just can imagine a picture like this and maybe the big disney tree in the background like really christmasy vibes so packed that that was from primark recently okay promise i'm nearly done now uh red check shirt just because again festive but comfy like that with a pair of leggings and some trainers um yeah that was from that was from h&m a few years ago i've had this for ages but it's really kind of like thick material as well um, so that'll be nice and warm. Then I've got my thermals as well, just in case for underneath. And the last thing is this t-shirt. Again, just thinking about layers, but because it says Paris on it, I um, thought that was quite appropriate. So kind of took that so I can build the layers up. Other than underwear and um, socks and things, that is it for my clothing as well. The last thing I'm going to show you is the fancy dress, um, fancy dress suitcase. I just love dressing the kids up and more importantly, the kids love dressing up, especially Arlo. Um, so we've kind of packed Arlo his own suitcase, popped Tally's things in there as well, obviously. But yeah, he's got his own suitcase, um, which I'll show you in a second, but he's going to love it. And that's got all his fancy dress outfits in there. I'm gonna move this out of the way and then I'll show you that. Ta da! This is Arlo's um, new suitcase that he's not seen yet, and it actually it does change pictures. There you go. Um, when you move the suitcase, it's not the clearest on here, and then on the side it's got lots of little Spider-Man images. This was from Shop Disney. Um, and I actually bought it before the Black Friday sale. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I bought it before the Black Friday sale and then it went into the Black Friday sale, which is so annoying. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. At least he's got it and it's got an extendable like um, handle on it and wheels so he can just pull this along. And obviously, like I say, it's only got fancy dress stuff in it. So it's nice and light show you what fancy dress outfits i've packed for them so it has actually just been both of their birthdays and for a couple of their presents off family members and friends when they asked what they wanted i did say certain like fancy dress outfits just because i love like i say especially they do love dressing up and um, so that's how we've ended up with so many different costumes like they just love it and also yeah it's just been the birthday so they were presents so Arlo has got his Captain America um, outfit. This was from Shop Disney and we've got his shield <laughs> over there. Um, so his shield, I just need to figure out where I'm gonna put his shield, like how we're gonna pack it, but he's got that as well. I'm hoping he'll wear it for when we check into the hotel. So we'll see. Hallie has got her Cinderella dress. Um, this is from the disney store as well sorry if the camera is at a different angle um uh, basically my battery died so i had to go and charge it and then reset everything up again so i might have come back a bit wonky but i'll just carry on um showing you the fancy dress fits that i've got for the kids so this is hallie's cinderella dress um and what i was saying before 
the battery died was Hallie's in 12 to 18 month clothing at the minute and I find that the Disney store like the Disney shop online all of their princess like fancy dress costumes are from ages three and up so basically I'm pretty sure this one is actually from the American American like Disney shop and I've managed to find it on eBay or like different shopping apps like that and um, so it is an official Disney one but it's not from like you wouldn't find it online now which is such a shame I do think like they should do them for younger ages as well like the Christmas ones I managed to get in her age but any official Disney princess dresses um I've had to get second hand which to be honest it kind of works out better because they're a lot cheaper than what they would be online so this is the uh, Cinderella one so there's actually a Cinderella carriage in the park so I'm hoping to get a picture I'll have to see if she's feeling it or not if she's vibing it but I'm hoping to get a picture of her in this dress in the Cinderella carriage or near the Cinderella carriage because I don't know if we're actually allowed in it um so yeah packed that one for her then she's just got a Christmas um, mini dress so like I say this is this one actually is from the Disney shop online from this year and the Christmas dresses they seem to do in her age so um just a really really nice Christmas dress that comes with a hat and it's actually it's like a Santa hat with mini ears but it's got Hallie's name on it so I think you could pay like an extra three pound and you can get it personalized um so that's just super super cute and very Christmassy this one actually isn't official Disney it's just from Amazon but she looks so cute in it and it's basically just like a mini tutu so I've already packed that red tutu that you saw in her suitcase so I'm actually going to put that underneath this just to fluff it out a bit um, but yeah that was from Amazon so it definitely wasn't expensive and she's got some mini ears as well that she can wear with that oh, I've just found these tights as well so those tights come with that Christmas dress so I'll just put them there she's got some black tights that I've packed to go with that mini dress that I've just showed you and then let's see Arlo's got his Spider-Man outfit so I think with Arlo because he does really love dressing up I would imagine we'll just get him dressed for the day and then he'll just put one of these over the top and then we're just gonna have to play it by ear with the weather whether they'll need big coats thinner coats it's a bit of a guessing game at this point so um anyway he's got his Spider-Man oops got his Spider-Man outfit um again that's just from shop disney he doesn't like the masks um i'll bring them in case he wants it on because absolutely sods law i won't bring them and then it'll be the day that he decides he wants to wear it but he doesn't usually like wearing the masks um so i'll pat them but he probably won't wear them uh then this this uh, this is a bit of a gripe that i've got i must admit like this does annoy me anything superheroes obviously yes girls can wear spider-man costume or girls could wear hulk costume but the actual female superhero characters so like captain marvel there's actually no that i know of i could be completely wrong please tell me if you've seen any because i would love it but captain marvel obviously is a female character and there's no official fancy dress for her um for, for kids from what I've seen anyway and especially not in Hallie's age like 12 to 18 so I had made from a shop on Etsy that I can't remember the shop name but if I can find it I will link it and I basically just had to have her um a Captain Marvel tutu made so that's obviously Captain Marvel logo um and yeah just like a blue tutu so I love it she looks really cute in it she wore it for Arlo's Captain America Avengers party but uh, like his birthday party but it's just a shame that there's not actually any official merchandise for them um like female superheroes i think there's a couple maybe for black widow but like i say not not hallie's age um next one is again this is i think yeah literally from disney store i think i'm right in saying when it's shop disney or the disney shop that's uk when it's Disney Store, that could be America or maybe even um, like the Tokyo Store or yeah. So 
I got this again off eBay. Someone's obviously been to one of those parks and it's the official like Snow White outfit. That's in 12 to 18 months. I'll just show you the, in case you're looking for it, this is kind of what I check. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There you go, Disney store. Um, so it is the official park clothing, but they just don't seem to have it in the UK. Anyway, that came with a headband, so she's got a little Snow White one as well. They're probably not gonna wear half of these, but best pack them than not. So um, yeah, so she's got her Rapunzel one, which she wore on her birthday. So I've just packed that as well. That's probably one of my favorites. She really, really suits that color. I could not find, or I did find, but it had sold out or was the wrong size or whatever. Um, a Sleeping Beauty slash Aurora dress for her, like a, an official Disney one, which all the rest of them so far, apart from the Captain Marvel, all of them are, are like from the Disney shop, could not find an Aurora one anywhere. Um, so I got this from Amazon again, and to be fair, it's quite a good like version of it, and she really, really looks cute in it, really suits it. So it's got a bit of a tutu, um, just like a pink, princess dress and it ties at the back so we had a little trying on session before we like started getting everything together that we was going to bring and she really suits this one and obviously we're going to Disneyland Paris and it's Sleeping Beauty's castle so she has to have a Sleeping Beauty dress um so she's got this dress and then I'll show you what I've got for Arlo so obviously she'll be wearing this I've kind of got the photo that I want to take in my head but it just depends if they want to play ball or not. But I think it would be a really cute picture to get off them. So obviously, yeah, she's got this dress. And then in Matalan, um, which by the way, if your kids are into fancy dress like mine, Matalan is amazing. Um, I managed to find it's not actually meant to be like Prince Philip or a prince costume. It's meant to be a knight. But I just thought it was the closest thing I could find. Um, to Prince Philip so it's got a cape that is basically it's got like the mesh armor thing it comes with some boots and it also comes with a shield and a plastic sword that I've already packed and um, so I kind of want to get the picture of like him being the prince and her being the princess outside the castle but it honestly depends what mood they're in when they wake up, so we'll see. Couple more, a packed Thor, so our little Thor outfit. This is probably his favourite costume. Um, so yeah, I packed this one, again, it's from the Disney shop, he got it for his birthday, so um, I packed that one just because I know he'll want that one, and actually, he will wear this, he wears the mask, and I think it's because it doesn't cover his face, he likes it. Um, or prefers it to the other ones so he's got the, the helmet thing there as well then he has got his Iron Man costume which again he got for his birthday um, but outside the hotel where we're staying the Marvel Hotel there's a huge Iron Man statue and I just I know Arlo's going to love it when he sees it so I thought it'd be really cute to get a photo of him dressed as Iron Man next to the big Iron Man statue so um, yeah I've packed his Iron Man costume and his, the mask is like a plastic mask which he doesn't mind too much he might put it on for a photo I've packed it so we'll just see um, the next thing I actually wasn't going to bring but when Arlo saw me like taking all these off the hangers he's asked me to pack it um, so I've packed it and it is his Jack Skellington costume which actually what I'm thinking because Jack is doing a meet and greet outside um, Phantom Manor is dressing him up, dressing Arlo up to meet Jack Skellington in his Jack outfit and putting him a red Santa hat on like on the film where he turns into Sandy Claus so that could be really cute this is Arlo's bag I can't remember if I showed it or not before I think I did um, and that's Arlo's bag as well so I just think it'd be really cute if we can do that meet and greet with Jack and Arlo will have his backpack on he'll be dressed as Jack he'll have the Santa hat that could make like a really really good picture as well but 
we'll just see we just have to see how the kids feel on the day um and then this is the last of hallie's dresses and this isn't one i was looking for but i saw it on someone was selling it on ebay or something and i just thought it was beautiful and it is a snow white like special christmas edition uh disney dress like the front of it is so nice like that's a bit higher and then it's got like the tutu netted bit underneath and that comes with um like a really nice thick velvet bow as well so um so yeah i'm going to take that for hallie as well it's a bit warmer because it's a bit thicker material i think that is pretty much everything so that's all of our clothing the kids clothing the fancy dress things that you have to think of um, I just know if we didn't take it with us and then Arlo especially seeing the fancy dresses in the shops where it, everything's like probably five times as more expensive he would then want his um, which we wouldn't be buying because they would have been at home so it's just easier to bring it like I said we're driving so we've got a bit of leeway with luggage allowance and things um, so after this what i'm going to do which i'm not going to film because to be honest i really just need to crack on <laughs> and stop procrastinating um i need to pack baby wipes nappies we have done some snack packs for the kids which have just got like um crisps and like mini cheddars cereal bars um smoothie winder things basically snacks that haven't got loads of sugar in um and if your kids are anything like ours, they just want to be eating 24-7. And a lot of the time when you're in the park, things have a queue or you could be queuing for a ride and they decide they're hungry. So for us, like we learnt last time, take snack packs and then one, it keeps costs down. Two, it's not loads and loads of sugar. Obviously, we will let them have treats and, you know, snacks while we're, while we're there in the parks. But it just means that every time they're hungry, they're not having something full of sugar. I don't know if that makes me a really boring parent but yeah and obviously it just means you've always got snacks to hand so we're gonna pack them sam is always in charge of like the passports the documents we need obviously we've done our tests they've come back negative which is amazing um and then the final thing that we need to pack after i've edited this video is camera memory cards um batteries ipads phone chargers, all the technology, toothbrush, toothpaste, makeup bag. And then I think that is pretty much everything. Oh, we've also got some hot hands, which are like little, if you search on hot hands on Amazon, um, they're just like little sachets that heat up, you put them in your gloves and it'll keep your gloves nice and warm. So yeah, there's a lot going on. I feel like I've still got, I've, I've made a dent in it, but I've still got a lot to do. So I'm gonna go. I'm going to get us nice and packed, I'm going to have a cup of tea and then we're on countdown, we're on countdown till our holiday tomorrow and I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. I really hope that you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope if you are a family and you're packing that this has helped or given you some ideas. Um, if you've not already, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and give this video a little thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow for another day of... Vlogmas! <laughs> mm -hmm.